So we're here with Charlie Price, who's the international creative consultant for Scruples, and a Naha finalist again this year. My 18th time. How do you keep doing this time after time? What are what is your trick? I have to. It's how I live. I live to shoot. <laughs> so what is it about competing that gets your creative juices flowing? I don't even think it's so much about competing. Um, if I am competing, it's competing against myself, you know? But uh, I just think it's, it's uh, rewarding because it really just satisfies your creative urge. It's like drinking water when you're thirsty to me. I just have to do it. So let's go through the main components. What would you say is one of the most important things when planning out your shoot? Uh, the things that I always tell people is don't skimp on models. Don't use your, you know, your receptionist or your brother's girlfriend or whatever unless she's a model. Uh -huh. um, have your ideas really, really um, storyboarded out and thought out well in advance. Find a photographer that specializes in beauty and really understands the competition. Research your category like crazy. Look at past winners, past nominees. Um, and then practice your looks over and over so you don't freeze on set. Okay. Now, where do you find your models? What's your favorite resource? I always work with a modeling agency. And I live in Denver, so it's Donna Baldwin Agency is a modeling agency I always work with. Now, can you talk to me about lighting, actually? So what, what, how, how is lighting for hair different than overall beauty and fashion? Well, backlighting is generally not great for hair unless you want to emphasize you know, frizz, which, which looks good sometimes. But if you want smooth, sleek, definitely not backlighting. Um, you know, I'm not an expert at lighting. That's why I, I work with Babak or I work with my friend Melanie Watson, and they are great at lighting hair. But I think whatever, I, I tend to favor soft light better mm -hmm. than really, really stark, crazy light. So how involved with you are, are you with like fashion? So when you're planning out what the models are going to be wearing, do you rely and trust somebody else that you're working with, or are you part of that process? Well, I'm a control freak, mm -hmm. as you know. <laughs> But um, I love, I'm sort of a frustrated fashion stylist, so I'm very involved. Even if I do hire a stylist, I'm definitely involved. And for me, picking out the clothes and, and the nail polish and the shoes and everything is, is just as important as the hair that I'm doing. And that's all part of your storyboard before you ever even get on set? Oh, always. And what I really do is I start my whole process by using magazines that have the runway um, trends. And that's, that's really my starting point. And then I build everything around that. Because I think things shouldn't happen in a vacuum. It has to speak to what's going on in the international runways in some way. So can you talk to me a little bit about what it's like to work in a team? So you have a photographer, a makeup artist, fashion styling, and then you, you're in charge of the hair. But it has to all come together at the end. Can you offer some advice on that? Well, I think that the important thing to know if you're doing a Nahas shoot specifically is that the hairdresser is going to have to take the lead. If you work with someone even as strong as Babek, I still am ultimately responsible for my entry. So even though it is a team, I think it's an, an important thing to, that somebody is steering the ship. Otherwise, you can get way off track. OK. Well, that's some good advice for you. Um, so in terms of choosing a category in that you're going to enter, um, are, is there a specific category you're particularly drawn to year after year? Oh, I love them all. I love hairstyles to the year, because I love seeing um, the body of work, the five different looks, um, and, and the range that the, the five offers. Um, but I, I love all of them. I mean, I'm addicted. You know, I, I enter almost every category. I love editorial. That's mm -hmm. probably my second favorite. This is my fifth nomination for that, so they better give it to me this time <laughs> so I don't have to get nasty. <laughs> OK, so for somebody who's entered and a little weary about losing and not, or not being a finalist, not winning, what can they take away from that photo shoot experience that still makes the whole thing worth it? Well, you still get the, the creative um, satisfaction, whether you are nominated or not, and plus you can send it out to Modern Salon or whoever to get it published um, and just have it for your portfolio. It took me seven years to get my first nomination. Wow. So um, don't give up. Mm -hmm. and, and just remember that you know, it's people's opinions. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad shoot if you don't get nominated. So you said 18 times you've been a finalist? 18 times. Wow. Yeah. And does each time get better and better? Um, you know what? It's sort of like. It is a bummer if, if I don't get nominated now. I'm so used to it. I'm very spoiled. Mm -hmm. But I can't really get that upset because I've, I mean, they've been very good to me mm -hmm. at PBA and Anaha. So, but yes, it's exciting every year. Love it. Well, your work continues to impress us and our readers. And thank you so much. Congratulations for thank being you. a finalist again. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much, Charlie.